Hello, beautiful people. Um, now, I, I haven't done a tarot reading online um, for quite a long time, but I've been sitting recently and watching, you know, different posts that I've been sent and stuff like that. So uh, I've actually been sent quite a few um, videos of other tarot readers that have done readings about different countries. Now, New Zealand has always been mentioned. So anyway, today I thought, oh, I think I'm going to do a tarot reading about New Zealand. And I'm only going to do um, past, present, future. But I'm using several sets of cards. Um, I'm using Rider Waite. Um, I'm using um, a beautiful set of cards called Universal Cards by Julie McKenzie. I'm also using a beautiful set of cards by a beautiful New Zealand artist, which are nature cards. Um, and I've had several fall out, but I've got, I've already laid them out as they come out of the pack. And like I said, I'm gonna do past, present, future. So I'm just gonna get on with it. Um, if you would like to share this video, please do. Um, I'm also going to put it on YouTube, but I'm here also putting it on Facebook. Um, it's too long to go on Instagram unless I do somehow do a YouTube link. But anyway, let's do it. So past, this is what's come out in the past. I've got Hank here and he's snorting. He wants some attention. Just sit down, boy. Sit down. Sit. Good boy. So the card that I've got here now, when I tune into this card and we're talking about the past in New Zealand, um, this is a fake card. Now, there's several things that comes to mind in with this card. Um, first of all, there is a lot of people that have ended up in New Zealand that have been drawn here. Some know it and some don't know it. But they've been drawn here for a reason. So it's fate that has brought them here as part of their soul's journey, if you like. I'm one of those people because I was in the UK, as you can probably tell by my accent. So this is also a place where it's a good place where people have come to travel to, to explore. Um, a connection, a deep connection to the earth and to spirit through through the lands of New Zealand. Um, this is about life moving forward. This is a wand card. So the very spiritual place New Zealand is and a place where people come often to wake up. Um, very, very deep spiritual connections and a, a real natural portal without too much interference to our beautiful Mother Earth and other dimensional um, realms on the Earth. <clears throat> it's because it's a newish country. The nature here is absolutely fantastic. Um, so it has a deep connection to nature, but beyond that, it's, it's other dimensional nature. Um, so creation, basically. And people have come here to explore. People have come here to learn things, all sorts of things. Um, and what card has come out with it is manifest. So, yes, it has been a place where people have come and they found it so light um, and such a welcoming place that they have been able to often manifest their dreams, whether it's uh, ca uh, coming here and doing a certain form of work, starting their own business. It's been a place of people from other parts of the world coming here, gathering, learning, experiencing, um, and being able to manifest their dreams. So it's a great place to sit and meditate. And again, that connection with cre creation. Explore New Shores has come up here. Now, many people come here, get citizenship, and then pop over to Australia, because obviously New Zealand and Australia have got such a connection. Um, but it, again, it's a place people have come 
to explore, but not just explore on the 3D physical world, explore their inner selves, explore who they are. Um, so New Zealand has, has very much been like that. Now we get to now. Now I got drawn straight away to talk about the people of New Zealand or the people living in New Zealand here. And they're very easygoing people. And sometimes that easygoingness is taken as being lacking in confidence. Um, sometimes it actually is lacking in confidence, but the people of New Zealand get so comfortable in their lifestyle and the easygoing lifestyle and, and all those things that often they can get swept along uh, with the government's narrative or, but it's, it's, it's such, you know, when you look back at sort of two years ago, three years ago even, it's been such a subtle programming that's come through the media and everything else that's gone on here. The people are so easygoing. They have, without knowing it, been swept along with it. Um, so this card represents that the people need more confidence to stand up and that they're also being guided with this card that there's such a spiritual connection here, or a, again, literally spiritual connection um, to those other realms, but also a very deep connection here with the land. And they're also being guided that their cup is actually full. And as much as the fear narrative has been pushed, you don't need to stay in the fear narrative. Now I'm talking about now really being guided, you do not need to stay in the fear narrative at all. Your cup is full for the people in New Zealand. And it's time to move forward. This is what I'm really being guided. Move forward, though, with more confidence, with more direction. But going within at the same time, don't just, this is what the a big strong message is, don't just trust what you're being told in this outer world. Go within, connect into your own soul spirit, connect into your own intuition, because that is what's going to guide you. That is your compass. And we've got so comfortable, and this is probably all over the world, but we've got so comfortable with being led by other people. But now it's time for the people to lead. But first of all, you need to go within and really suss out who you are. And I mean on a deep level. And it, yes, it's going to bring stuff up, but that stuff needs to come up because the truth is being presented now to everything or everybody, both on a, both on a personal level and on a worldwide level. So it's very important to go within. Again, this is all about confidence. Once you've gone within and really sussed out yourself and not listening to that outer programming, you will truly find your path forward. And I mean truly. You will know, you will have that inner knowing. You will know also by connecting in to your own intuition what you have been told before doesn't feel right. Now, most of you know this now. Even the people that aren't doing anything about it know that what's gone on and what is happening, a lot of it doesn't feel right. So I say to you, connect in with yourself. And if it doesn't feel right, it's your intuition telling you it's not right. So it's really time to connect into your inner self. Now, the fear narrative, that's what's also come up here. Again, that, that creates people to lack confidence and to um, really rely on what they're being told. So what has come up here is breathe. The, the, the universal cards, it's come up, breathe. Breathe in the universal energy that connects mind, body, and soul as one. 
feel the energy of love as it flows through every cell of your body. Again, that goes back to the fear. It's time to let go. Let go of the fear. There is actually nothing to fear moving forward. Fear, as they say, is just a word. And it's just a word that's in, been implanted in your consciousness, in your mind, in your heart, in your world. And then you've, you've allowed your own mind to create more of that fear by following that outside input that has come through mainstream media, um, perhaps even through things that you've been looking up online, whatever it is. So at the moment, we are out of balance because balance has also come up. Your life is out of balance. Like, this is literally, I might as well repeat what I've just said because your life is out of balance. You need to organize yourself and divide your time more efficiently so you can accomplish everything you wish. So when we go over to balance, we're talking about being in balance in all areas of our lives. Now, things have got very, very busy for a lot of people and the opposite for some. But even though people, some people aren't working anymore, they're still extremely busy. So we have to, a lot of that business, busyness is, has come through influence from the outside. So we need to go back in again. All about going back in. This is right now. It's present. Excuse me. The present. And finding confidence in moving forward in your own power. Being empowered within yourself. Very, very important right now. So I can see that things are going to change here. What has come out next? This is the future. And this is, there's going to be a big shift. The people, I'm going to, actually going to go back to the present. The people are going to find themselves. That's what a lot of people come to New Zealand for, is to find themselves. They don't realise it. But that's what a lot of people get drawn here to do is get, fate brings them here or they're guided to come here or they come here on holiday and decide to stay. New Zealand's a bit like that. So there's going to be a big shift. So the people are going to come up, be empowered, um, shine their light out, find who they are and know who they are. Um, and it's, been, it's going to be a real power to the people, I wanna say. So the future is a, a place of growth. So we're talking about New Zealand, a place of growth. There's going to be people coming here from all over the world. It's like New Zealand is going to shine, if you like, and the nature here, vibrant, alive. You can actually feel and see the life force in the nature here. Again, it goes back to the newness, the freshness, the, the connection to the creator. I'll just tell you a little story. When we first moved here, now we've never been here before, but when we first moved here, we got off the plane, got into a taxi, and as we were driving from the taxi to the hotel, I was absolutely blown away by the green that, you know, I mean, this was in the middle of the city, but I was looking at the greenery and I could see the life force in the plants. I was absolutely blown away. And I, I you know, I actually remember saying to John and the kids, hey, can you see that? I don't know whether they could or not. But I could, it was something so vivid. The colors of the greenery, I could literally see the life force shining out from the plants. It was amazing. And that's what it's like here. So the future here, the future is all about growth. There's gonna be so much growth here 
that the new, I, I truly believe that New Zealand is going to be the light of the world in many, many ways. But there's going to be people coming here from all over the world for different reasons. It's going to be a really vibrant place um, where people come to learn and lots of growth in all sorts of aspects of life. So I really feel it's going to be environmental stuff. It's going to be spiritual stuff. Um, hands on things. Um, it, it's going to be a place of growth and lots of people visiting and coming and good vibes and really, really wonderful vibes, in fact. So what's come out with that is teaching. People are going to come here to learn, to grow like they have. So there's going to be many people that will develop teaching skills here. I think, well, I feel definitely to do with healing and all spiritual sort of stuff, natural stuff, um, natural health things, uh, environmental stuff. It's going to be a place of real growth in that respect. So teaching. This is what's come out. It's time to share your wisdom through teaching. You have a vast ocean of experience and talents to share with others. So let it flow. So a lot of people here um, are very creative. It's a very creative place. Now, it could be that the freedom we once had, because right at this moment, we haven't, but that's not going to last. We are going to get that freedom back again. Um, I can tell you now that uh, many, many spiritual beings, the guides and the masters are all here overseeing what's going on. Many, many ETs also are here. I often see craft at night here. Um, they are here watching and often they communicate with me and I feel very blessed about that. So what's come out here in the future is reflection. We are going to be reflecting back at what has taken place over the world and we're going to learn from it. In fact, we've, I've just read the card at the bottom there. It's just literally said basically what I've just said. So listen to the guidance you are given reflect and learn from this situation and move forward, positive outcomes lay ahead. So we will be reflecting back at things that have happened in the past, things that have happened in the past in this country, but also things that have happened in the past around the world. There will be people coming here for the healing waters, the nature, um, the because of because of where we are in the world um you know there's not much light pollution obviously if you're near a city there is but overall in new zealand there is a fantastic view of the skies at night um and the moon when it's out full moon we're gearing up for a full moon now uh so lots and lots of wonderful things coming up now i'm just going to Go a little bit deeper with the future. Enchantment has come out. So this is really about letting your inner child come out. Don't be so serious anymore. Don't need to be. Be lighthearted. Get into a place of joy. Release all that fear. What's happened over the last two or three years is that fear has been pushed so much that it's actually gone into our cells. And we need to release it. So and the best way of doing that is to become like a child again. See the magic in everything. Start connecting. See the signs that are all around you. Feel that joy, that awe of, of exploring, you know, and finding new things and new creation. Even, you know, like a butterfly or sat outside with the puppies earlier. And a butterfly went past. And I just looked at it and I thought, what an amazing creature. What a journey that butterfly has been through. 
being trapped in that chrysalis for so long and then slowly breaking free and then expanding its wings and flying. That's what we're all going to do. So bring back that joy, bring back that enchantment. Look at the world through the eyes of a child that's just seeing things for the first time. Look without fear. Look in the eyes of a child. Bring back that joy, that awe. Bring it back. We need it. And it will make life exciting. Wow. So huge luck. Bearing in mind we're doing a reading on New Zealand. Huge luck. So what I also feel is. Well, actually, some cards fell out in a minute. I'll go into that when I was shuffling. So huge luck. You are a magnet for money right now. So expect a windfall to illuminate your life. Huge luck is coming your way. So I don't think it's just about money. I actually think that um, things are going to get back to normal once it all, all the truth starts to be revealed, which it is already starting anyway. But this is going to be a wonderful place to be. So we're just going to put one more of these. So this is opportunities that are coming. This represents a lot of things, this card. It represents that your cup is full and that there are going to be things offered to you. Um, there, literally, there are many wonderful opportunities coming. This does also represent that even though you can be surrounded with people, often you feel quite lonely. And when you feel like that, that is a sign, I believe, this is only my own personal opinion, that is a sign that your soul is knocking on the door and going, are you living the correct life, your soul's journey life? Are you living to the best of your ability? When that happens, it often means that we're perhaps stagnating in, in one place and we're not moving forward. It also can mean that we are <clears throat> perhaps stuck in the old narrative of our, of our own lives and we need to make some changes. Um, and then we'll start actually connecting into our soul families and people that are like minded. I expect a lot of you have found over the last three, two to three years that people you were once friends with, even family members, you just don't gel with anymore. And that is because you perhaps have grown and they have not, or vice versa. They have grown and you have not. So there's a lot to think about, about deep, going deep within and really sussing out who you are. Are you on the right path? I met up with a lovely lady earlier today who was mandated out of her job as a teacher. And because the mandates are gonna be dropped here soon, we all know this. And um, I said to her, would you go back? She said, no. She said, I, I, I'm, I'm so busy now. And my whole life has completely changed. I'm living completely differently. But she said, I won't go back to that. I don't want that life again. That's not me anymore. And there will be a lot of people like this that have, have already stepped out of the matrix out of that trap of having to earn enough money to pay the mortgage, to pay the bills and everything else. Sometimes when you're forced into that situation or into a situation where you have to change, your creative mind really gets going. And it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to lose your property or anything like that. It can mean that you just do things in a totally different way and, um, and, and, and things work for you. 
So I'm just going to read the cards that fell out. So first of all, this card fell out, the Knight of Swords. Now this is a speedy finish to a situation. Now I believe this is all about the mandates, but I'm gonna go on further than that. I think it's all about the corruption in our governments all around the world, but specifically I'm talking about New Zealand. I think that's all going to come out soon. I think it's going to end. And this is all about life charging ahead in a positive way as well. So it's the, quite a fast ending to something, but then life charging ahead. So it's going to be quite quick. When it happens, it's going to be quick. It's like uh, one thing after another is going to be revealed and it's going to be quite quick. So what's come out next? Again, this is about messages to share. So we're going to be um, have people share messages with us. And I mean, uh, like even mainstream media, the truth is going to start coming out, mainstream media. Um, we will also have messages to share along with other people. It's about sharing. This is a real sharing card, sharing information, sharing messages, uh, sharing help, um, sharing gifts, all sorts of things like that. Again, this is about life moving forward as well. Uh, and then we've got the Ace of Pentacles. Fantastic card. This is your divine wish being granted. Money coming, things um, being cleared. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. My sinuses are still playing up a little bit. So, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles is all about money coming. So, N Nasara Jasara. Um, all these, all this thing, the the money thing unfolding. Money's going to play a big part in it. The whole system is going to change. And this card literally means about your divine wish being granted, and being able to move forward comfortably, in the way that you want. Now, two other cards fell out. Funnily enough, and. The Queen of Swords. Now, I think this represents RPM. Uh, and what's come out with it is the moon. So you, if anyone knows about tarot cards, you will know exactly what this means. So we're going to find out some things about RPM. We're going to find out the deceptions that have happened, the delays, um, emotional ups and downs. Um, I think even our PM is deceiving herself about what is unfolding. I think she's trying to stay as long as she possibly can. Uh, this is a real up and down card, but I do feel this represents all about our PM here. So I, th I would say that she's probably really up and down at the moment. One minute feeling confident and out there, but at home behind closed doors, I think that she's probably feeling quite low and that everything is going to come out soon and she cannot keep this going. Um, like I said, deception, delays, emotions, uh, the dark side, the light side. And, um, but we all know the truth is going to come out. So watch this space with that one. So I hope that you've enjoyed this reading. I will try and do more because I've actually really enjoyed it as well. I was just for me at the moment, it's time. Um, I have six, 10 week old Staffordshire Terriers puppies out there um, in a pen outside. And I love them all dearly. They're just so, so cute. Um, five have already found homes, two are going off, they've already got homes, but they're just staying with us a little bit longer, and we still have four left. I'm going to miss them so much when they go, but they are just such beautiful, beautiful, wonderful, loving creatures, um, and they're so funny. They are, they are, they keep me on my toes, they are also time wasters, and, um, you know, Obviously, I've got all the other animals as well and my work and everything else. 
So I really hope that you have enjoyed this. I will try and do one uh, again soon. I really got the idea this morning to do one on New Zealand. Um, if you have an idea about what you would like me to do a reading on, please put the comments below because, um, you know, if, if there's something in particular, not personal, I thought I'm on a worldwide thing, um, please, please put a question in below about what you would like to know about, about what's going on in the world because uh, then I'll do a reading on it. And I'll, you know, I'll do it publicly so um, you can all see it. Uh, so I'd really like that if you can do that, that'd be awesome. So I'm gonna wish you lots of love. I hope you like my background I put up today. Uh, obviously it's an ET theme because uh, this background actually was very much like a dream I had the other night where ET were sending down um, electrical frequencies that were raising the vibration of the earth and uh, nature. And also I was stood in one of myself. So I was getting a wonderful download um, and uh, some other things happened in it, but it was really cool. And I just love this ET connection and this connection to nature that I have as well, which we all have. And of course, beautiful, beautiful spirit connection. and wonderful wonderful connection to all you beautiful beings out there so I'm going to wish you lots of love I've really enjoyed this please put any questions that are on a worldwide basis basis or a country basis uh, below and I will read them and pick some to do readings on so lots and lots of love bye for now bye